goodness. <laughs> From Jaipur, my name is Ivana. This is my father, Branko. Good afternoon. <laughs> we have arrived in Jaipur, and the reason why he's saying good afternoon is because we had an amazing warm welcome at the Fairmont Jaipur. This is the absolutely phenomenal room that we're going to be staying in for the next two days. Speechless? Uh, really speechless. I have <laughs> all in big movies. Uh, Thank you. Please do your thing. Tandoori uh, roti. Mm -hmm. And this is Bajra roti. May I open the tiki? Uh, sure. These are company made. Mm -hmm. And dal pinch made. Mm -hmm. This is katta curry. Mm -hmm. Made up of gram dumpling. Mm -hmm. Gram flour dumpling. And curd gravy. Hunch. And steamed rice pan. Thank you. Dal pinch made. Mm -hmm. And this is lal mm -hmm. It is more spicy. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you will enjoy your meal. Definitely. That food was absolutely amazing, but we have to rush because we are going to watch sunset at Nagargar Fort. Dad, how are you feeling? <laughs> I don't know what to have to say. It's, it's Beautiful, amazing, and unbelievable. He absolutely um, loves it. <laughs> only I have not enough time to enjoy. This we, will, we will, we will, we yeah. will 100%. But now we're just rushing for sunset. <laughs> right now we are rushing off to Nagarkar Fort for an amazing sunset apparently the best sunset spot in Jaipur can't wait to show my dad that
Sunset at Nagar Fort is beautiful. Tenten can recommend. It's the best place to go for sunset. I do have to say, when you go inside, go to the right instead of going to the sunset viewpoint because everybody will be there. But honestly, it's not the best view. I feel the best view is when you go to the right side and climb up a little bit higher, then you also have a view of the beautiful wall together with the sunset. So that would be my recommendation. We got back to the hotel. <laughs> The hotel Fairmont Jaipur, I put the link down in the description below if you want to check it out. This is a collaboration. My dad didn't know anything about this. I got in touch with them a couple of uh, months ago. Uh, we were mailing back and forth and I said like, you know what, I'm going to be in Jaipur with my dad. Can we make this happen? And they were like, yes, we're going to make this happen. So that's why we are here. And my dad was like, oh, this is so beautiful. I cannot believe this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. The thing is, Rajasthan is a whole other level of beauty. You have to understand that. You have luxurious hotels all over the world. Usually, honestly, there is like a... There is a specific style. But at the same time, they also have something in common. In Rajasthan, it's completely different. And the Fairmont Jaipur is also a one-of-a-kind hotel. So that's why I also wanted to explore that with you guys and also with my dad. I'm hoping you're enjoying it as much as we are until now because it, it's just an absolutely gorgeous place to be. Look at this. Everything behind me. Look at the little parrot. See this? This is a pretty cool detail because this is what the, the Rajasthani kings would do when they would go to war. They would leave a parrot as a companion for the people back home, but at the same time the parrot would tell them all the secrets <laughs> when the king came back from war. And it's just like such a beautiful detail. Chair. <laughs> this is Tibetan Tukpa, it's from Tibet. Yes. Soup is from Tibet. It's basically uh, a wonton version of wonton soup. Yes. So where the wonton is not steamed. Trying Tukpa for the first time in my life. Mm. Very spicy, yet a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. Dad was actually craving soup, so... It's nice to start with soup. Yeah. <laughs> What is this? Ma'am, that's lamb rack. Lamb rack. Yeah. I just asked, uh, the chef is coming, he'll explain the, okay. the preparation. Oh my goodness. Chef, explain to us. This is stir fried lamb with uh, hot garlic sauce and floating vegetables. Uh, this is aubergine uh, with chili basil sauce and Thai fried rice and floating mushrooms. Thank you so much. Looks delicious. Dad, your review. Yeah. Uh, it's very tasty and not too spicy. Good. Looks like a very satisfying comfort meal. My food is also very, very comforting because it's so light and yet so tasty. Full of flavors like the eggplant and the mushrooms. They're so smoky. Oh. And like a little touch of spice, but not too much. And then combined with the rice, which has like a little bit of garlic flavor. Love it. Yeah, tasty. Very super tasty and good. <laughs> so it's a berry tweer, a sponge. Cake, cream of chocolate and vanilla and then chocolate and berries mixed and I have everything in my spoon here mm. 
good acidity. In Europe, we have like, if it's for instance berry pastry, it will be quite sour. In India, it's usually still quite sweet. I have to say this one is also nice and sour and that's actually what I like a little bit more because it balances better with the sugar. If everything is sweet, it's just sweet. A little bit sour in there. I've been watching way too much Chef's Table, can't you hear that? <laughs> the Fairmont Jaipur is so thoughtful and it just shows in the details. Look at this little chocolate spread in the room with my name written on it and these beautiful towels. It just melts my heart every time. It's these small things that, that you know, make the difference. So right now we are on our way to Amar Fort, my future home. I love that. It's my favorite fort in India that I've ever seen. So I'm very excited to show that to my dad and share that with you guys as well. Make sure to subscribe to not miss any of those vlogs and put a thumbs up if you like the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye, bye. Mm -hmm.